what's up and welcome back to the vlog. Today is the day that everybody has been waiting for, as well as myself. Today I moved to Finland, but um, it's really not morning anymore. It's 12.52 p.m. and my first flight from Greenville um, to Philadelphia was delayed for four hours, so fun. <clears throat> But that just means I have a shorter layover in Philadelphia in between there and Manchester. So yeah, I've been, well, I tried to sleep last night. Didn't really sleep that much just cause of like being nervous and thinking about everything. Um, but this morning I made some coffee as you just saw. And uh, I'm just like mentally preparing myself, making sure I have everything. And then I leave the house by 2.30. And my plane now departs at 4.48. Today, there's no clear like timeline. Well, not really anymore because of the whole delay. But um, the plan is to go from GSP Airport to Philadelphia, from Philadelphia to Manchester in the UK, from Manchester in the UK to Helsinki in Finland, and then from Helsinki in Finland to Oulu in Finland. And so my total travel time is like it was supposed to be 21 hours, but I think now it's cut short because of the delay. Um, but still, a long, a very, very long flight. Um, so you'll probably see a ton in the airport, a ton of me walking around in Philadelphia airport because I'm gonna be stuck doing nothing for a while. But it's kind of good that I have a long layover there because I have to uncheck my bags and recheck them. False. Whoever told me that lied. I didn't uncheck my bag the whole time. No, I didn't go through customs in Manchester. I went through customs in Helsinki. Because I'm switching airlines, and then I have to um, get my boarding pass there because for some reason, American Airlines boarding pass thing wouldn't work online today um, for that specific flight, which is odd. Um, and then I have to find my terminal, and Philly is a massive airport, so. Supposedly I've been in it before, I just don't remember like walking around there, so that'll be different. Um, but I'm gonna try to vlog as much as I can. I'll show you like my bag setup as far as like what I'm taking, because I'm just taking one like rolly suitcase, that's my checked bag, and then I'm taking um, my yellow big bag as, well not really big, but a yellow bag as my carry-on, and then my backpack as my personal item. But I'm kind of nervous because my backpack is pretty big and I don't know if it's going to fit under my seat. But we shall see. So this is all I'm bringing for five months. Do you think that's a lot? Or no? What? For five that? months? It's perfect. So I've got a rolly suitcase. I've got this as my carry-on. It's got like extra clothes and stuff in case, in case my uh, rolly thing gets lost. And then my backpack, which weighs a million pounds because it's got all my electronics. So hopefully security won't come for my neck. <laughs> well, we are all packed. Suitcase, neck pillow, carry-on bag, my backpack's up front. She's crying up there. Not really, not yet. <laughs> all right. Oh, look. I said that last time. Now that I've cried my eyes out, goodbye, mama. Just made it to my um, terminal and gate. And now I wait for probably like an hour or so, but um, got through security somehow. But then my suitcase ended up being too heavy, so that was great. I had to take something out and then like put it in my carry on, but. Yeah, it's going to be interesting going through customs in Helsinki because I have a lot of crap. Yeah.
five miles from Manchester. We're beginning our initial descent for our arrival and landing. We expect to touch down just about 25 to 30 minutes from now. We'll have you to the gate about five minutes after that. within the past 24 hours, but I made it. I'm in Finland, I'm in my apartment. Um, I'm about to go hang out with some people that are exchange students, because I haven't met like anybody yet and nobody speaks English, <laughs> so that's great. Um, but I'll catch everybody up later, but I'm gonna go hang with them. But, but you see outside, look at that massive pile of snow, it's crazy. Also, my luggage was lost, so I'm going to be in the same outfit for a hot second. So I haven't been on the vlog, doing a vlog for like a few days, but I'm finally in Olu, Finland, and it's been a crazy few days, like really crazy. Um, so I think I stopped vlogging on the second to last flight, um, but I had four flights to get here and I almost missed the last one because um, passport control was insane. And there wasn't, I didn't have that long of a layover. I had like 55 minutes and that's like getting off the plane before, going through passport control, figuring out everything. Um, so it was, it was rough, it was pretty hard. Um, but now I'm all settled. Well, I wouldn't say all settled. Majority settled. Um, but a lot has gone on in the past few days. Um, I lost my luggage. Well, the airline lost my luggage. And I didn't get it until last night. And I've now been here. This is the fourth day I've been here. So I finally got that. Um, unpacked. Have clothing. Um, but I didn't have access to Wi-Fi for a long time. I couldn't... Um, like contact anybody here because I didn't have a SIM card and I couldn't figure out how to work a SIM card here. Um, well, really with my phone. But then yesterday I had orientation and that was really good. Um, the day before I met with a bunch of other exchange students and so some are from North Carolina, Brazil, um, Hong Kong, the Netherlands, France, all over the place, Germany. Um, but it's been really cool to like meet people from different countries. I mean, I've met people from around the world before, but like not like I have here. There's like 200 exchange students, which is really cool. Um, but the first day was pretty rough just because I didn't get any sleep on the flights because the long flight I had from um, Philadelphia to Manchester, a baby or like three babies were crying the entire time. And like, I understand you can't really help your kid if they're like, crying uncontrollably but like I couldn't sleep at all and I wasn't comfortable and yeah um but passport control went smooth it was just super crowded there and I got my first stamp in my passport which is exciting um even though I've been to Israel but they don't stamp your passport because conflict I don't know um but yeah so I've met a ton of people um I walked around the school a little bit and it's massive like it's the size of a hospital it's so huge um it's all in one building so there aren't like different buildings that you go to for like classes it's just all in one but it's massive um so our orientation was in a big lecture hall and then last night we um with our kumi which is our student tutor got to go and take a tour of the school to see like where our classes could possibly be. And um, yeah, it's a really cool building. There's a lot of different restaurants and like cafes and stuff. Um, but after yesterday, I realized that I have so much to do this coming week. I have a lot, but what's weird is I don't start a majority of my classes until January 29th. 
It's January 4th. That's weird. I have one class that starts the 13th, um, but then the rest start really late, which is so weird to me because I'm used to starting early. Um, and then also I only have like a, one class like once per week. Whereas in the US, it would either be like Monday, Wednesday, or Tuesday, Thursday, or Monday, Wednesday, Friday, or just like one day, but for three hours. Um, but yeah, I met one of my professors. She was really nice. Um, but I think one of the hardest things I've dealt with here so far is the language barrier. I, didn't, I did not think at all that there was gonna be that big of a language barrier because like everybody can speak English here wrong not everybody speaks english not it's more the younger generation that speaks it the older doesn't speak it as much um but um everything in the grocery store is in finnish everything everywhere is in finnish and i don't know finnish i know only a few words now i know the name of where i live i know thank you i know hello goodbye um so Kitos is thank you, and hey is hi, or, or hello, so it's like ours, so hey, and then hey hey is goodbye, and then the name of my apartment, I'm probably going to slaughter it, but it is, it's a long word, it's Tutkientia, or Tutkientia, or something like that, it's the struggle, yeah, but I've realized how important people are here. Um, I don't hang out with a ton of people back in the US. I mean, I have friends. It's just like, I'm not always with people. But here, if you're not with people, it gets super lonely and sad and depressing. I, partly because you're in a long, you're alone in a foreign country. And then also because it's, you only get like four hours of sunlight, which is crazy. So yeah, um, it snowed a lot last night, so. Why don't I show you the snow? Well, I should probably show you my apartment too, but let's go look outside. So, if I can get out here, I haven't been out here yet. This is how much it has snowed. It's a lot and it's super slippery, but it's cool. But I have this cool little porch access from my room. And I usually keep my door open because it gets hot in here. Fins like their heat. They also like their cold. I don't know. Black land's gonna be crazier. So I'm currently walking outside to go to Prisma, which is the grocery store here that everybody buys everything from. And this is probably like my fourth trip here now. Um, I go a lot just because I can't carry a ton with me. 
because I have to walk there and back because like I'm not taking the bus. The bus doesn't even go there. Um, but today's been a good day. Uh, I went to the city with my Kumi and other exchange students and we um, walked to this beach called like Nilikari. I think that's what it is. Also wrong, it's pronounced Nalikari, but I can't roll up my R's. Um, and it was beautiful, but it was freezing and it was an hour walk, <laughs> which is crazy, but it was fun. I got to talk to this one guy I hadn't really talked to before from France. His name is Alexis. He was really nice. Um, but I've mainly been hanging out with my two friends, Bonnie and Mike, who are from Hong Kong, which is so cool. But uh, we just got back from the city, so now I'm going to the store. Then after that, all the exchange students tonight are going to a bar slash pub. I've never been to a bar. I've never drank. <laughs> so this will be interesting.